What's up YouTube? It's your girl Sophia from RSVP and I'm back and so excited to show you a new DIY video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful clutch and if you've been watching my channel a while you know I'm obsessed with clutches. So let's get right into the video and get started. So for this DIY you're going to need 4 meters of fringe, a new or used clutch, you can use a measuring tape but I won't be using one, and you're also going to need some scissors and some glue. That's it. So the first thing you're going to do is just, I don't cut my fringe right away. I take it and I sort of measure along the edge of how much I need and then I cut it. And you start off by doing that and you just want to cut it really close to the seam so that you get as little fraying as possible. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, they're joined here. So what I'm going to do is take the scissors and cut it right in between where it's joined so it doesn't fray as much. And see, there's a little bit of fraying right there, but we won't have to worry about that because it will be covered up. Next, you're going to take your glue and you're going to put a little bit of glue along the edge of the bag like so. And you don't need a lot of glue because you don't want too much to come through. And I just take the glue and kind of spread it all along the edge here because we're going to put the border of it right in the edge and just be careful not to get any glue on the um, silver part of the bag and make sure that the base is lined up with the base of the bag and you're going to just place it here hold it with your finger for a few minutes and then spread it all the way across make sure you stretch it so it's fully stretched out and we can fix the edges after and you just want to place it like this and let it dry so that you can start on the next row. Once you get that first row perfectly in there you can go in and you can cut it and you can always glue after but I'm going to just cut right down the seam here and then it's just a clean break and you can take your glue and fix the edges and let them lay nice and flat so that they can dry and get ready for the next row. So you just want to take the edge like that, place it down so it's nice and secure, and then let that dry. And don't worry about the frayed part because it will be covered and so your first row is done. To do the second row, you want to make sure that you cover this space right here. So what we're going to do is when we measure, we're going to, let me just get rid of this little extra piece. What you're going to do is make sure that the second one sits right on the edge here. Hope you guys could see that. And then you want to, it's going to curve a little bit because you want it to cover the empty space that's below it so that each row there's no space in between, if that makes any sense. We're going to put the glue here because this is the main part that we want to cover. And what I do is before I cut it, I let it dry a little bit so that the corner is secure before I lay the rest of the row. And then let that dry a little bit before you go in and finish putting the row down. Okay, so our second row is done and now we're going to go ahead and start to add the other rows.
guys so we're almost to the end and I tried to keep the video as short as possible but this is the final result I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment letting me know if you're going to try this at home thank you so much for watching and have a great day